Hello everyone, welcome to another video of FFL 24-7. Today's video is going to be very exciting because this is going to be about the Tesla stock and I'm actually going to be very exciting doing this technical analysis with you guys. So this is obviously the horrible looking chart of Tesla you guys are looking at. So I know there is a lot going on because there is a lot going on that I wanted to quickly share with you guys. So if you are a Tesla stockholder or if you are planning to buy into Tesla stockholder, you may want to hear out these few uh, critical updates that I want to share with you guys because uh, there is something exciting going to be happening uh, very soon with Tesla stocks because there is literally two very aggressive scenarios building up in Tesla stocks. So let's uh, find out what I actually mean. So I know there is a whole lot going on. So let me break it down one at a time for you guys so you guys can understand it. So let's zoom in a little bit. So uh, first, uh, one major thing that I want to point out to you guys is uh, obviously uh, there, uh, there is a lot of people that have been tracking this inverse head and shoulders for Tesla stock. And actually, in many ways, this is kind of a forming a maybe a bullish breakout pattern if it does break out. But uh, hold on, we need to look at, look at a few things before we get to that. And not just that, there is kind of a small cup and handle, cup and handle pattern forming as well in here. But... Uh, I have a little bit of bias towards on the other side. So let me show you guys exactly what I mean. Okay, so these are the two major trend lines. So this one is the downtrend and this one is the uptrend line that I want you guys to focus on first. So let's uh, all focus on these two lines first. So do you guys uh, see something happening uh, right about around here? So these two lines are meeting at exactly the same point and Tesla stock is also at uh, a very crossing point of these two trend lines so not just that so let's zoom in a little bit more i want to get i want to show you guys some more thing so let's keep our focus on this uptrend line so let's see what's happening here so this is that uh, uptrend line that is coming in so this is the major uptrend that tesla was forming and eventually we gapped down on the earnings because there was like a big miss on the earnings part on tesla uh, they were not able to meet the deliveries and the earnings target and we saw a gap down below this major uptrend line and since then we haven't been able to regain this uptrend line so it's been around so earnings were around 18th of october and we are at two months uh, away so two months of price action and tesla stock has not been able to regain this major uptrend line so if you guys notice we are clearly being punished at right about exactly on this uptrend line so we have not been able to regain this trend line and they are clearly showing uh, the tesla stockholders that uh, i don't know who else maybe controls the price action so because this is clearly the rejection this is clearly being furnished that this is not being able to regain this uptrend line so uh, so you might you guys might be noticing there are some other few lines crossing in around here so this is one also one of the major uh, fibonacci level that is sitting right exactly at the crossing of these two major trend lines so this area guys around here the 260 259 259 and 260 area for tesla stock this is not any ordinary resistance that we are being rejected at so this is like a heavy heavy resistance that i am seeing right now because this is the rejection of the uptrend line and this is the continuation of the downtrend line resistance and also a major major fib level is sitting at this exact level of 259 so that is why this uh, level is not going to be easy for us to break but uh, i know there i know a lot of people are still pointing out at this inverse head and shoulders pattern but again if you guys notice this head and shoulders pattern inverse head and shoulders pattern is also kind of forming in a down downtrend that is continuing so as of now what is this looking like for in terms of the price action is i am thinking the price is heading towards this level so this level is right around the 215 level so i know this is not going to be a whole lot of good news for a lot of investors but uh, in technical terms, this is where I see uh, the strong support for Tesla stock to build the momentum to break this uh, long term uh, downtrend that we are in because we have to break this downtrend in order to uh, get back to the uptrend line. So so on the bearish side, this is what I am saying on the bullish side, if we are able to regain this uptrend line, because this is clearly something of a very important significance. Uh, if you guys notice because we bounced very hard uh, at uh, around these two levels so one was around back in January 2023 and the second time was around the April 2023 area we bounced very hard and it was like a very bullish price action after bouncing from the from this trend line but uh, we just sliced through this uh, strong level of uptrend 
on the earnings and we haven't been able to regain this since then so but uh, if we are able to regain this uptrend then i think uh, this uh, inverse head and shoulders pattern might be playing out and their uh, bullish price target of this inverse head and shoulders pattern is sitting at around right exactly the 400 uh, area that was or almost around the all-time high for tesla stock so if this does break out in the upward direction again this uh, uptrend line is very critical for us to regain if we want to get, head back towards the all-time high of 400 but for now what i'm thinking 260 price target is not going to be an easy target for tesla to break so on the bearish side if we are not able to even hold the 215 level then i think uh, the major support uh, area that we are going to be looking at is going to be around the 190 to 185 dollars area in around here that is why we have this kind of a heavy demand zone for tesla stock so this major cross of three very critical levels this uh, downtrend uptrend and this major fib level sitting at the 260 level so this is why i have been calling out that there is going to be a very aggressive move uh, going to be happening very soon in tesla stock either in the downward or the upward direction so obviously for the upward direction we definitely want to see the break of this resistance at a 260 we need to close above 260 so if we close above 260 then the nice price target i would be looking at uh, we are easily heading towards the 315 or 313 dollars area mark for tesla but and on the bear side if we are going to be keep rejecting we, well actually we are getting rejected at this level then the next level of support i'm looking at is around the 215 area personally i have a little bit of bias towards the bearish side of tesla and they and i have my own reasons to believe so let me share those reasons with you guys so if, if you guys notice uh, arc etf so kathy woods etf so they have started buying into tesla stock a little bit so Today on 1220, they bought around around almost 94,000 shares of Tesla stock in their major ARK ETF and then another almost 17,000 something shares in their uh, ARKW ETF. So uh, Kathy Woods, we all know, is a very famous and well-known supporter of Tesla stock and she has uh, done very, very well in that. But she has been wrong uh, quite a few times in especially in the year 2023 and 2022 so we are approaching towards the end of uh, 2023 three guys and i think and i feel uh, 2024 is going to be a very tricky year for tesla stock and i have a few reasons why because uh, tesla i think they are counting very heavily on the cyber truck the the way they are hyping a uh, cyber truck is is kind of giving a feeling that all their focus is uh, heading towards the cyber truck because they are kind of seeing the competition building up against their other line of evs that are obviously model x and uh, model y and the tesla model 3 so there is a lot of competition building in that area so tesla is counting very heavily on the cyber stock to perform well so cyber truck uh, success is very critical to the success of tesla overall that is what i am seeing guys let me quickly show you guys what i mean about the competition building in the other line of evs so these are just some of the EVs that are, that are coming in from the competitors like Honda, Chevrolet, Kia and Toyota. So and the way that I'm seeing is if you guys have noticed that the Teslas, they haven't really done any drastic changes in their designs or designs for Tesla Model Y, Model X or even Model 3. So they are pretty much the basics. So all year round, they have been giving out those the same models addition. If you look at these new EVs from other competitions coming in, so their designs are more aesthetically pleasing and also kind of a, an easier transition for the customers because it gives them an, an easy way to switch to an EV because this is like an easy transition for them because they are more used to those models and being more comfortably been driving those models more often and there is kind of them I feel like they kind of relate more to these new newer models that are coming in from the other competitors like a, a Chevrolet, Blazer, Honda, Kia and Toyota. And, and this might be another selling point for even for the existing Tesla customers who have been driving the Teslas for maybe two to three years and they maybe want to try something new. So there might be a flood of used uh, Teslas, uh, Model Y, Model 3 or Model X coming into the market. So that might be pushing back on the new uh, price targets of uh, Tesla delivery. So that is why I'm thinking. So this is just the beginning, this earnings uh, that we are seeing here that they missed the numbers in their last quarter. So I am expecting in 2024, they are going to continue to miss those numbers. And that is obviously going to reflect in their price uh, price action. 
because obviously the stock market is forward looking. So the, these investors, they are, I think they're definitely going to be looking at the other competition coming into the market. So what I am thinking right now is they are all waiting to see how the Cybertruck is going to perform. But in my personal opinion, Cybertruck alone cannot single handedly uh, take the Tesla to where they want to be because they have to do some drastic changes in their other uh, line of EVs as well, especially those uh, the regular SUV, the Model Y and the Model 3 in range. They have to do some drastic design changes if they are able, if they are going to be competing with the uh, other competitors in in this next coming few years. So that is the reason, guys. I am thinking that uh, we are at a very major level. If we do not close above 260, then I am clearly seeing 215 might be coming in the near future for us. And on the bullish side, if we are able to regain this. Uh, uh, uptrend channels and then that will be a huge win for tesla stock then we are clearly heading towards the all-time high because this inverse head and shoulders pattern then everyone is going to start watching this and tracking this inverse head and shoulders pattern that is setting the target for 400 dollars but nevertheless uh, uh, my personal bias is a little bit towards on the bear side because the 2020 24 the next year is going to be a very tricky year for tesla so we are all uh, depending on the cybertruck success and if that uh, if there is a little bit of mishap happens with the cybertruck deliveries or orders then i think the tesla stock is going to see a lot of beating coming up in the near future and like i showed you guys before we are there are clear signs that they are targeting and specifically showing tesla that they are punishing them on this uh, uptrend channel and they are not being able to regain this so that is all i wanted to get in touch with you guys for tesla stock guys i hope you guys liked that video if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel